Hi, this is Vic Dorfman from VicDorfman.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to filter digital access pass notification messages in your Gmail email account so that they're automatically archived or they, they automatically get tagged or categorized or even put into the trash if you wish. So what we're going to do is go into your Gmail account and you're going to search for bracket, open bracket, DAP, close bracket, and this will bring up all of the DAP notifications that you have received. Now in my case, here is a DAP notification that I have received because I take payment for my MemberFix service via DAP. I actually use DAP to run my productized service. And what you would do in this case is you would go over to the More icon click on that and click on filter messages like these. Now you're going to actually get rid of the text in the from field and instead you're going to go has the words open bracket DAP and then payment received. Now this will only filter DAP messages that are payment notifications because DAP does send out other kinds of notifications and they always begin with open bracket DAP closed bracket. So if you want to filter all messages, then you can use just open bracket DAP closed bracket. However, please note that from time to time, the company DAP, digitalaccesspass.com, sends out emails that use this particular formatting. So you may miss out on some of those emails. Okay, so you can do this and cover all of your bases at once or you can create individual filters for every type of message. As you can see, we have payment received messages, we have PayPal IPN errors. Certainly you don't want to filter those out because you want to be able to address any errors that you're receiving. We have user cancellation errors. So in this case, I just want to filter the payment received messages. So I'm going to use open bracket, DAP, close bracket, payment, received, and then I put a period afterwards, right? Because this has a period right here. And then I'm going to click create filter with this search. Now here are the filter options. You can have the message skip the inbox, which automatically archives it, which means that you never see it in your inbox, but you can go ahead and search through your archived messages and find find that message, okay? Just simply diverts from your inbox automatically to the archive. Or you can mark it as red. You can star it, you can apply a label, you can forward it to maybe to your virtual assistant or a team member. You can delete it. You can say never send it to spam in case some of your messages are going to spam. You can apply a filter, a negative filter, right? You can mark it as important. You could never mark it as important and you can place it into a category or some combination of all of these options. Okay, and once you've selected your options, you simply click on Create Filter, and all future messages will be run through that filter. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, and I'll be happy to come and respond. This is Vic Dorfman, membership site expert from VicDorfman.com. Thanks for watching.